Hi everyone, Bria here. There's a lot of sunlight coming um, in. It's like 90 some degrees in Portland with no AC. Uh, but it's beautiful. <laughs> Lots of light. I'm trying to block it out so it doesn't look like distracting. Um, I am here to just share with you a little bit about what in the world I mean when I say the term or two words partnership parenting. Um, partnership parenting, I don't think yet, is something that you will find trademarked or marketed um, or really widely used uh, or I widely identified when you Google it. I did try doing it and I didn't really see that much. Um, peaceful parenting you will see what else attachment parenting there's a couple and there's a couple that to be honest if you look up peaceful parenting um, I think it's like a trademarked term that someone's made into a huge business and some of the things just seem like coercion under a different name uh, but that's just my personal feeling about it so So, without trademarking it, without getting too far into branding it, because that's not what I'm ever here to do, um, I just want to share what I personally mean when I use those words, partnership parenting. Uh, partnership parenting is based on something really simple, building a partnership with your kids. Easy, right? Uh, but in order to do that, we have to undo and shed and change all those power over and control tactics that maybe we're used to doing um, that typically a lot of society, a lot of adults and parents in society are just kind of uh, conditioned to do um, that maybe our, some of our parents used with us uh, that we read about in all those parenting books. There's so many parenting books just, you know, using coercion under a different name. Um, and then so shedding all of those and then just building new ways of being with your kids based on the idea of being in partnership being in relationship knowing that they know their needs better than you do and um we're just here to support those needs and to support them and share how how we're feeling uh if that's helpful to them <laughs> Um, so we're just there to support those needs and share our experiences and they're there to support our needs as well. Sometimes they know things about us that we don't even know about ourselves. So you're shifting from this way of being that maybe you think you know best for your kid, you know exactly what they need and you are trying to impose that on them and find different creative ways to impose that on them but ultimately impose that on them um, um and shifting into recognizing that they know they know what they need and our role as parents is to support them um offer our ideas or advice if they want them. I mean, you should share who you are and what you're feeling just like you would with any adult you're in a relationship or partnership with, but not to control them or try and get them to do what we want them to do or what we think is best because they're the ones who know that for themselves. Uh, so that's what I mean when I use that term. Again, I don't think it's widely branded or marketed yet. We'll see. Uh, and other people may mean something different, um, but that's what I'm thinking about when I use the term partnership parenting. Thanks all. See you soon.